Hey hello everybody, my name is Kedamo, welcome back for another video of Humankind. We're gonna continue this series. We're doing fantastic right now, we're dominating, absolutely dominating. Just with the mod where I can gain all the money with, uh, like I can get all the money, I can quickly purchase everything. That's just how you cheat the system, I guess. But I get all the arbors. I get the holy site now. I got two cities. Everything is working well for me. Uh, we're gonna end our turn right away, boys. We're not, we're not gonna waste any time here. Everything's working so well uh, as we are gonna about to enter the next turn. Uh, maybe other people are gonna, uh, other factions are gonna start to uh, maybe go into classical era soon, but I'm by far way above them. Uh, it does help out, obviously, that uh, we are playing on fast pace as well, so that does mean that we're doing. Uh, we're going a lot faster on the pacing and stuff like that. Uh, Brown's working researched. So which means we can get forges, watchtowers, uh, spearmans, uh, and we can get a uh, copper. A copper resource. Uh, okay. So uh, now that we got that. We're going we're gonna to get rid of the farmer squatter. Build a watchtower right away. So we got a watchtower now. That is done. All right. That's built up. That wash hour is done. Uh, anything else that I need to build? Not really anything. Uh, I got nothing uh, at all that's special uh, over here. So we're just going to keep... Uh, we're going to go back to the farmer's quarter. Uh, also, I do have to do two of population right here. Put him in the science right here. That's definitely what I want to do. Uh, next up, over here for this city. Uh, do we have anything uh, that we can build? We can build this. So farmer's quarter, you're getting rid of. And I'm gonna build the watchtowers. There we go. And now go back to the farmer's quarter again. And the thing is, is, since we got flood irrigation, so we got irrigation done, we this is not gonna flood. So this is right here is not a problem for us at all. It's even a, a good a good thing for us. That's really good. Uh, population for these. I got enough science at this point, even though it's 29 of science. I, even whoa, that's not what I meant to do. Even if I, okay, that's kind of, okay. Well, I don't know what's going on, boys. Okay, so I can't drop any per, uh, any more people into the science. I can only drop them into food or money. I'll drop this guy into food. Why not? Definitely drop him into food. Uh, yeah, I don't I ha don't have anything else to do. I, I'm just going to continue to work over here. Work over here with this uh, army, my best army by far. And with them, we're going to keep exploring. Uh, possibly just keep expanding as well, getting more cities going. Either one of these two, I'm going to create a new city. But since I've got uh, myself a city over here, I think it would be best to get ourselves a, a city on this side. So a third city, like going right here along the shores, uh, would be great, boys. So just keep the empire like growing super fast. Uh, we need a new research. Let's go for masonry. It's going to take one turn only. And now we can skip a turn, boys. Let's do it. There we go. We're turn 20, boys. We're about to be turn 20. Which is uh, really good. We're really moving fast pace. So, masonry researched. Stoneworks done. And we can get stoneworks and we can get forced labors. Which means we can use our population. Uh, if we have too many of them or something like that. We don't know what to do with them. Uh, and Kerma has converted to our religion, which is good. Uh, we we can basically use a population to uh, quickly build farmer squatters, whatever we want, right? So we don't need to use money per se. Uh, these guys, so now that we've got irrigation, see, we can do that. So I'm just going to build a farmer squatter really quick. Uh, with that, we actually have, uh, a uh, we have something, right? We have a resource right here. I really want to build that. We really want to get that resource. So that's done. That's perfect. Another resource for us. We're going to get that. The stone works big time. So the stone works are done. And we're going to keep working on the food. So the food. They're telling me to go for this one. Seven. This is a six right here. Another seven right here. But I can't do that. That's going to already have something over here. And that's about it. Okay. So I'm guessing. Yeah. Let's put it right there. I guess that's the best option right here. We're definitely going to do that. And I think we're good. So nothing here. Uh, we're just going to keep uh, working on the uh, farmer's quarter. Uh, next research that we want to go for. Riding wheels, sailing, organized warfare. 
That would give us barracks, siege weapons, reinforcements uh, would be great. Or writing. Writing would give us uh, markers, uh, market quarters, food market, and house of scribes. Let's do the uh, markets, uh, the writing, boys. The writing is going to be top notch for us. Really going to help us out. We have another. So another populist just ga got gained. I'm just going to drop it into. Going to drop into money, boys. Drop that into the money. And uh, oh, yeah. We do have. So let's build, quickly build that farmer's quarter. And we're going to quickly build that stonework as well. There we go. And now we're just going to work on another farmer's quarter. Uh, somewhere so where do we want to put that I guess right here that's gonna be fine okay so that is done 68 gold per turn 50 influence per turn boys we got a civic that we can choose uh, leadership what is that so small council or or, or odd arc okay so you have to pay an additional sum of influence to change your mind okay so that would be plus one city cap or plus 25% stability on the capital. I'm going to go for city cap. There we go. Most small council, boys. Eventually yield to the onslaught of more brains. There we go. So small council seems like the best option for me. Because it's going to get, allow me to get uh, more city cap. Which means now... Okay. Uh, I guess not. I guess not. Oh, no. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Keep it in there. Keep it at food. Uh, which means now I can get like uh, even more population. Uh, my city cap now is at 24. That's perfect, boys. That's a lot. That is a lot right there. I do have an event right here. I want to see what that event is. Or it's just a new civic that I'll knock. Okay, got, I got it. That was just a new civic. Okay, so we want to work possibly on an outpost right here. Before I, I work with this guy, I want to see if I can uncover anything particular here. Let's go explore. Let's go explore on the uh, these little uh, forest on that forest that's going on right here. Okay, so we ex we're exploring. Uh, I'm just gonna keep uh, going towards that location. All right, so it seems like the sea is going like that, basically, boys. It's around the corner like this. It's a lot of winter tiles, though. As you can see, if we choose really quick, if we s uh, just look around, it's a lot. It's a lot of, uh, of options. I want to kind of expand a little bit further. Uh, really big time. So what I might end up doing is just go a little bit further. Like in these. I want to be close to the shores. But I want to get into fertile lands. If I can't do that, I'm just going to create another outpost. All right. So I got to try and find. Uh, I got to try and find a good place. So uh, if there's no fertile lands nearby. This is just going to be an area for an outpost and whatnot uh, for the snows, uh, the snow and everything. So let's keep it going, boys. We need to build two more districts and we need one more territory attached to a city in order to uh, get to uh, era stars. So Sabic converted to a new religion. OK, got you. And uh, what do we do here? So in one turn, we're going to have the writing, which is I'm really excited for that, by the way. I'm really excited to have the writing on. What now? What, what do we do with these guys? Definitely create a city uh, would be a good option right here. Uh, we got this right here. Let, let's keep it moving. Yeah, I feel like I could definitely create a third city right here. Definitely create create another city right here around those shores, boys. This really is, seems like a nice place uh, to be doing that big time. This one is still working on its thing. Uh, yeah, I want to I wanna see right here. Is there any options? I got to move across though. Kind of frustrating. With this unit, I got to actually move across and go there because it's a lot of mountainous uh, regions. It's preventing me from doing a lot of work, really. All right, well, let, let, let's go to the next turn. Turn 22. Uh, we got the writing done. Perfect. So now, now uh, will be complete. Can be there we go. To the next, via something more reliable than campfire stories. There we go. So world unlocked, and uh, our fame is across the chart, boys. There's still, you can see, they're still in the ancient era. Closest uh, that coming in is there the two other ones, and uh, they're not close at all. We actually have a new civic available as well, which we're definitely going to be working on. But first off. 
we've got some stuff to build. Some stuff to build. So build a quickly build a farmer squad over here. We are definitely gonna get a food market. Definitely gonna get the house of scribes, which is gonna give us even more science. You are gonna go into the science department. There we go for the population. And also we're gonna get market quarter. Definitely I wanna get one of those. Uh, okay, so that's gonna that would be plus ten. Plus 11, 9, 11 right here. Let's look at one close by. So 11 right here. Market quarter. Boom. Done. So we've got a market quarter right here. So I'm guessing it's the same thing as garrisons and food. I'm just going to keep working on the market now for this place. Keep working on the market. We've got uh, a ten, another 11, another, uh, 11 right here. But that's minus 7 food. So don't want to do that. Yeah, I, I want to put it right there. Market. There we go. Market done right here. All right. So the only one I'm going to uh, not quickly do uh, purchase is the uh, food stuff. So this one, how much food uh, can it build? If I go here instead, if I do that, I can't even build anything. Okay. So uh, forget about it. Forget about it. Uh, I, I can't build anything else right here. I'm just going to go to uh, the market uh, quarter. And build on that and create as much money as possible. Look at the amount of money I'm gaining because of the uh, the markets and stuff. Over here, uh, we do want you to. Uh, I want to. I want to work on the uh, on the food market. So what we're gonna do? I need to get rid of the money and re-equip the money. In the next turn, we're gonna be able to do stuff about all of this. Uh, do did I get another extra population? Yes, I got two of them actually. Okay, uh, one into money. And uh, we can drop all of them to money. Let's drop one into food, I guess. We've got lots of population right now, boys. Lots of population. Oh, there we go. The mod is there. So let's do the food market. We're going to do the house of scribes right here. So it's all built. Good. We can't do the forge. Because we don't have the copper resource. So that's not a thing we can do. Uh, markets. We can uh, start building on markets, I guess. What do we need the most, though? Uh, I'm going to start looking at what we need the most. We got 60 of gold. I don't need gold right now. I need more, more than anything. I need food. I'm, uh, I need food more than anything. The money is fine. We got 107. So let's put some farmer quarters. Let's just keep uh, working on the farms, boys. Don't have any. It's the best option right now. As it is for here, is it really the best option to go for the money? Not really. So we are going to get rid of that. And we're going to keep working on the food. Uh, there we go. Seven. Seventeen right here, boys. Seventeen of food. That's definitely something we want to do. I'm going to keep working on that. All right. Next up. This guy. Do we want to create an outpost or a city right here? Could uh, go for any uh, any of them. First off, we're going to work on our civics. Because we are another civic. Uh, nationalized industries or privatized industries. Uh, plus one trader slot in the city or outpost per market quarters. Farmer slot or so plus one farmer or trader slot. I'm going to do this one. Privatize indi that industries, boys. That seems the, the best one. To counteract the long hours. There we go. So, well, that seems uh, like the best one, best option right here. So we're going to do privatization. Uh, this is, you can see this is beside uh, this. So we should like enter this area this region before trying to create another city uh and um i could try and go there so let me let me just go here we're gonna create so you can see the region this is like outpost region this is definitely a place that you can play you place an outpost in between and this would be an, an, an area where you want to do a city and stuff that's definitely an area so I want to, I want to see, I want to create a, another city. 12 and, oh, 12 and 3, 13 and 3 right there, boys. That's a really good one. Okay, so yeah, definitely want to go there. That's going to be definitely a place we want to go at. So yeah, we're going to create a, a city right here. This is going to be city. This is going to be an outpost right here. Okay, perfect. That's done. And for this guy right here, what do we want to do exactly with this? As you can see, you can see the borders, what I'm trying to do. I think an outpost would be great. So a city right here and an outpost right here. That would be the, uh, the good option. So let's start working on 
possibly a city right here nearby, boys. Um, I, I would think in these regions near the shores. What would, what would be the best option? What what would be uh, right here? It's not a lot. Well, there's a tel uh, uh, ten tw uh, two right here. Yeah, get a city going right here. We're gonna get ourselves a city going right here, boys. Boom! There we go. So, we got an outpost going. 250 or 65 uh, influence next in order to get uh, this into a city. Definitely going to do that, boys. And at the same time, definitely going to create an arbor. While we're at it, we might as well do it. 7-9 uh, right here. That's 6-5. 4-3. And 7-9 right here as well. Let's put it right here. There we go. So we uh, created that, uh, that thing. It's already done. It's built. So we got the arbor. So we got a, ourselves an arbor right here. Perfect. And I think uh, that's about it. So we need to research a new technology. Wheel sailing. Definitely go for sailing, boys. We want to have ships. We're going to want to start building ships and stuff. Having a navy uh, well, well above everybody else in terms of technology and stuff. We definitely want to do that. Uh, let's end the turn. Population gain over Kerma and Napata. So both cities have a population gained. We're at 5 of population over here. Let's put it at 60 of money uh, for the city right here. So that's perfect. Okay, that's uh, that's done. We don't have anything else uh, going on. For our other city, uh, it's obviously in industry again. I want to put it in food. So there we go. That's going to be in food right here. Perfect. So we got it at 4 of food right here, boys. Lots of population in here. Lots of population. Okay, so that's we're still working on all these things. Uh, for you, right here, I want to create an outpost as well. Uh, that's eventually going to become a city. Uh, definitely right here would be perfect. I feel like uh, there's not any other better option. So, perfect. Right here. This is an outpost right here as well, boys. So, there we go. So, we got, uh, we got the outpost. Right here, outpost is going to be created in a uh, one turn. It's going to be there. Uh, still going to need. So, these are my plans. I'm getting the city done right here. This is going to be a city. Uh, this is going to be an outpost right here. So we're going to go see an outpost. I'm going to need a lot of influence point, uh, influence points though. So we're gonna, really going to need to work on on that. But let's go. Let's go build ourselves an outpost right here. So we're going to uh, go work on that, on these tiles in this region right here. We're going to work on an outpost. It's going to connect these two together. Okay, that's uh, that's that, boys. Don't have anything. We're still working on uh, on our uh, science and stuff. Uh, Sham gained a uh, population. There we go. And we got sailing. So now we can get uh, Pentecounter, so our first ships. And we can get Fishmonger as well. All right, so what do we do here? We actually have a civic available. Uh, we are gonna work, we're gonna quickly build a farmer squatter, quickly build a fishmonger right here. Boom, that is done. Uh, we did unlock a civic, there we go. And uh, we're gonna wait on that before looking at that. Okay, so now we're gonna keep focusing on food. Yeah, let's keep focusing on food, boys. Uh, plus two, plus nine, nope. Where do we want? They're telling me to build it either here or here. So let's build it over here. Uh, we are going to need to build an arbor, ourselves an arbor over here. So what do we want to do? 10-12, uh, definitely build it right here. That's perfect. We got uh, ourselves an arbor right here. Uh, I need to choose my new civic. Let's do that, boys. And that's religious rights. I need 126. Okay, I'm going to need 126. So next turn, we're going to be able to do it. So right now, we don't want to focus on that. Uh, you, buddy. Yeah, you, we need a lot of points, influence points. It's going to be a while uh, before we are going to be able to get ourselves a city. So we're going to have to be patient with that one. Let's quickly build a, uh, the farmer squad over there. Uh, what we're going to do is quickly build ourselves a fishmonger as well. Perfect. That is done. That is completed. And also... Uh, I guess we're going to keep working on the food right here. So let's keep working on food. Do we have any places that we could do right here? 12. Let me see which one do they, they recommend these ones right here. So uh, I'm going to go for this one. There we go. This one right here is the one I'm going to go for. Okay. So yeah, I'm going here. I'm going here, boys. So I'm going to create an outpost 
right here this right here boom just like that this is going to be so now it's two outposts right but this is going to be the outpost i'm going to connect to this one since this uh, uh when this one's going to become a city i've got multiple outposts now but uh they're, they're, they're you're going to see what i mean by like connecting the all of them so uh we need to choose a new one organized warfare or or the wheel the wheel will give us a, ch a chariot so basically uh some uh, horses but we don't have any horse resources that's not really info we can get roads though to connect the cities together properly uh reinforcements barracks let's get the wheel just so we can get uh, a road system road network connecting all of these together that would be fantastic boys so let's do that and uh science we need one more technology research that's going to be done for the next turn just one more territory to, to, to attach boys idle army uh my army over here hasn't been uh, okay so I, we haven't moved them need to move them somewhere i need to actually create an outpost right here as well so we need to start doing that so we're, we're gonna head out towards there uh that territory right here that's gonna be an outpost that's gonna be connected to this city there we go perfect all right skip to the next turn turn 25 boys culture chosen the arapans reach the classical era with the celts okay and we got a population gained uh, as well and people of sham converted we got the real uh, wheel researched we got another era star from that we need to get uh, 231 of population overall okay got you and uh, i think that should be it so we're getting enough influence i feel like i really want to gain more and more influence though uh what do we got right here so with that we can now build ships that's gonna give us minus one of population though uh let's get you into the food system and let's get you into the science buddy there we go definitely want to do that so yeah that would be a minus but with that definitely want to uh, yeah i want to work on that getting ships would be really fun boys eventually getting ships and stuff uh, seven of population though. I feel like it's karma that uh, karma that would have the ships done early on uh, Especially uh, when I'm not gonna be able to get like I'm gonna push up into science Once I'm not able to get any population extra uh, population stuff. I'm gonna start building up ships uh, Yes, I do want my ships to spawn here. That's for sure. I can attach some of them I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do uh, any of that. We do have a civic uh can we choose now 106 do we not have enough i feel like we not oh we don't have enough yet yeah we don't have enough okay that's fine okay so uh what do i can need a 255 points or something that's a lot uh say if i go right here though uh for the next technology let's do organized warfare uh, warfare already let's do it i guess what we can do with our our, our points though is definitely create an outpost in the meantime but not too sure what to do right here so we got eight ten we got a 12 right here eight three eight four twelve three that's the best one right here seven four which one we want to do boys oh boy right there but that's we need something that has food has a lot of food though don't really care about the production as much feel like this is the best one this is the best one by far boys so we're gonna go here Brand new outpost right here. Boom. Just like that. And one turn, it's going to be finished. So we're going to have a... We have an outpost right here. Done and good with. It's going to it's, it's gonna be ready. Now we just need to build up our influence over, over time, boys. We just need to do that. Um, if we look at our religion, our religion is actually starting to go down. We're actually getting converted via another one or something like that. It's not too good, boys. Not too good. I mean, we are getting 11 followers. Okay, so we're doing okay, but could be doing a lot better in terms of uh, religion. So how does this work exactly? We need more followers and then we're going to be able to build something else. I guess that's how it works, boys. You upgrade yourself via that system, I guess. That's how that's how uh, the game works. So Alia convert to a new religion. Okay. So now one more turn and we're going to be able to get the organized warfare. Still don't know how road the road system works exactly. Uh, I'm guessing we just completed the roads to simply. Okay, so it j I think it just simply got, got us the roads because you can see a road system going here. 
That's probably what's going on here, boys, like, uh, to be honest. Otherwise, I wouldn't see what else do we would have to do with the road system and everything. Okay, well, since all of that is done, uh, do I actually have yeah extra population? Put it, uh, put it in science. Science all day, boys. Science all day. Uh, only 13 of food, though, that we're producing per, ter uh, per turn. That's not, uh, that's not a lot. That is not a lot. But our science is across the uh, the board, boys. Recession, a uh, procession. So spend money in order to increase stability. Oh, our stability is going down. Is there a reason for that? Because of all the districts and stuff? Okay. I got you. So it's because of all the district and stuff. Our stability is starting to fall down a little bit. Okay, got you. I got you. Uh, what about... Uh, so we got, we got points, but not enough to do anything, really. Mm, that's kind of, uh, it's kind of a rough one, boys. It's a rough patch right here. Uh, we're just going to keep uh, exploring, though. With this unit, we're going to explore north. We're going to see what uh, waits for us, what is waiting for us. Bunch of desert land right there. Seems like a bunch of desert land. Same thing for this place. Seems like a, a lot of uh, desert areas. Lots of uh, resources though waiting for us to just take over. Lots of copper and stuff like that. The marble. It's a, it's a pretty big land. It seems like I have my own continent for myself. Because I, we've got over seven continents or eight continents or something like that. It seems like I have one continent for myself. Which is kind of crazy. Uh, we've got... Um, we need two more population. Okay, for the points. Alright, alright. Oh, and look at that. So we do have somebody else that just got into the classical era as well. There's that, I guess. That's, that's a good thing. And we have city caps as well. I did forget about that. Okay, so I didn't know this, but we can only build another city. We only have the right for another city, a third city overall. So I got to choose overall then. If I, I can only have one other city. I feel like this would be the best option for the third city. So you know what I'm going to end up doing then is attach these then. Because if I can't get another city going. Uh, attached to Kerma. Yeah. We're going to attach those to Kerma boys. So there we go. So we attached Sham. Which was the city I wanted to get eventually. But. Uh, if I have a city cap of three, I can't get that. So I'm guessing I'm just going to uh, focus the hard time. And uh, since I've got an arbor, uh, arbor is going to be here. Anything that's the ship wise, it's going to be built there. Look at the district though. Stability goes from 81 to 51 just like that. That's not good. So in order to, for me, I would have definitely, I would have to unlock action procession. Use money to increase stability. I need to get that fast. I need to get that fast because my stability is dropping like uh, like crazy, boys. It's it's dropping fast. I really need to get that. So I need to stop spending my influence right here big time. And really need to do, stop doing that. There we go. Population game for Kerma. There we go. All right. So we got another era star with uh, four era stars now. Organized warfare. We got that. Perfect. Population gain. Yeah, whatever. And we've got something with the religion going on. So maybe an upgrade for the religion as well. We've got 15 of population over here, boys. 15. That is quite good. Can drop more into the food. Let's drop more to the food. Uh, keep dropping people in there. Yeah, I can basically create ships. No problem here. I can get myself some ships if I want to and start like getting a navy big time. Explore other continents. Uh, that would be the way to go. But uh, I right now, building up my influence. Gonna wait. Continue to build it uh, over time. And this, uh, with this army right here, we're just gonna keep exploring. Feel like I'm good enough with two armies. Don't have any other people that we've uncovered uh, really so far. So we're good. We have an event right here. And we also have some people we can fight. There we go. With some people we can fight. First off, the event. I want to see what the event is all about. The flooded lands. An unrelated deluge of rainfalls landed, uh, lashes down upon the great city of Napata in the surrounding lands. If the rain don't stop soon, the banks of the great river that treads through the city will burst, flooding the adjacent quarters. Well, we had irrigation done. That's to prevent that. It was done to prevent that. So we're going to protect. 
We're gonna spend all the money possible to protect it. There we go. Uh, Napata, by, uh, by the way, Napata, how's it going over there? It's going pretty well. Uh, we got the industry. Don't want anybody, anybody on the industry. I don't care about the industry whatsoever. Uh, we're gonna continue to put people on. We're gonna max out. Uh, I think I want to go for virtuous, virtuous as water. Uh, choose this tenant. Yeah, we're gonna choose this one. I need the, uh, I need the stability right now. I just need it big time, boys. It's, that's, that's just how it goes, really. I really need that stability. There we go. It goes up because I got that. There we go. I got the virtuous thing. Now it's going up. So my stability is going up over Natada in Kerma. It's, it keeps going down. Kerma keeps going down, trending down though. Uh, we do have the stone rings. We can still build them. Let's get rid of the farmer's water and we're going to start working on the stone rings. Once again, uh, where do we want to build those? We, we got one here. We have one here. It's time to... It's about that time we build one over here as well. Let's build one right there, boys. So, working on that. Maybe I could probably quickly buy out buy it out boys so i can get it to 14 minus 14 population i've got how many population i've got 15 oh that would drop me way too far though that would basically cost us the entirety of our population Eh, fuck it let's do it there we go we got the stone rings and now we only have one population we're still getting a lot of food and stuff that doesn't change it's not going to change. The stability is good enough. Uh, it stays stable now. Because we don't have as many people in the city. Uh, having a lot of populace does hurt the stability, obviously. So uh, that is something. I'm guessing... Now what do I do? What do I go for? We got lots of foods. Plenty of food. Which we can drop some uh, some food. And we're dropping into this uh, science big time. We need people in the science. All right, so I'm guessing I'm just going to keep going for the money. Yeah, we're going to go back to the money system and uh, go back right here. Okay, so that's it. We're going to... I'll end it right here, boys. We're still doing fantastic. I haven't uncovered a single one of the civilizations. I'm telling you, I feel like the entire continent is up for grabs for me, it looks like. Uh, I don't have anything else. So uh, anybody else really working out uh, against me. We do have the Nox. Which is like a neutral civilization right here. So we're going to have to deal with them. But remember to leave a like and subscribe to the enjoy video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.